Let's add a setup portal to projects. Let's say we created an ESP8266 project for a small device, and now we want the user to provide some data after the code has been flashed to the ESP8266 device. How do we do that? One way is by using a soft access point with a portal and a form. This form can be used to gather any data we need from the user, like Wi-Fi credentials or the PIN number for a sensor. There are libraries out there that you can use, but here we will try to code it without one. But don't worry, it's simpler than you think. For this exercise, we will create a way to ask the user for their Wi-Fi and password to connect to their network. We will start with the form and work our way back. So to start, we will need to host a web page that will handle the requests. So we include the server library, then we create an instance, then we handle the portal web page, start the server, and in the portal function, we serve the HTML code. This is a basic HTML form code to ask for their SSID and password. And when the user submits the form, we catch the post parameters. To be able to serve this page, the ESP8266 needs to act as an access point. This can be done by setting Wi-Fi to access point mode and start a soft access point by giving it a name and a password. So far, we have built the form, started an access point to ask the user to provide their home network credentials. But once we get the credentials, we need to store them somewhere. One way of doing this is by creating a structure and save it to EEPROM. So we include the EEPROM library, create a structure with SSID and password, and give them a length of 30 characters. That should be plenty. Then we initiate the EEPROM with the size of the structure. Here it will be 60, and we use EEPROM begin in setup. And now we go back to the handle function to modify it by copying the data into the structure. We use string copy passes the structure element, the parameter, and the length. And since we are dealing with strings, we need to terminate them with a null. Then we prepare the eeprom with the put function, give it the starting address, it will be zero since we don't have anything else to save in the eeprom, and the structure instance. Last, we do eeprom commit to write and save. The SSID and password are now permanently saved in eeprom and can be retrieved anytime. On boot, if we want to get these values from the eeprom, we use eeprom.get, pass it the start address, which we set to zero if you remember from earlier, and then the structure instance. This will load the data into the structure for us. To connect to the user's Wi-Fi, we set the Wi-Fi mode to station, and we use Wi-Fi begin to connect using the saved data. And we are done, but there is one last thing we need to adjust. If we leave everything as is, the access point will start every time the device boots, but we don't want that. We only need it if we are not able to connect to the Wi-Fi. So let's add a counter. And when the Wi-Fi fails to connect more than, let's say, 30 seconds, we start the access point. We can do this by adding a retries variable and increment it each time the Wi-Fi tries to connect unsuccessfully with one second delay. And there you have it. The device will create its own access point when it fails to connect to Wi-Fi and serve this setup portal on 182.168.4.1 for our users. I told you this was going to be easy. I will share the code if you want to use it at a starting point. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.